Wow. <laughs> wow. Mm -mm -mm. There's a reason I have always said that teachers, security officers, and a slew of other people deserve to get paid the money that athletes get paid. And I'm about to prove my point. Now, let's go with the NBA players. They get paid hundreds of millions of dollars. They have a very simple job. And it's really not a job. <laughs> because if you grew up, started playing basketball as a kid, you just love to play basketball, it becomes fun. It's not even a job. It's something you love to do, like the likes of Steph Curry. He is like 30 years old, but he plays ball like he's 10 years old. He runs and takes shots all over the court. He's out there laughing and running with a mouthpiece hanging out his mouth like a little fucking seven-year-old kid. He's having fun out there, and they're paying him over a hundred, over $200 million to do this. <laughs> so what do they want to return? They just want you to win games. They want you to follow a code of conduct, which means stay out of trouble. Don't do nothing to embarrass the NBA. But they're paying you also just to stay in peak conditioning, which many people have to do to live. They're paying you to be healthy. So you win on every aspect of being in the NBA almost. Besides the fact that a lot of them sell their souls, to become more than just an athlete. They wanna be what we consider superstars, celebrities. That's for another video. But the likes of these players, like James Harden and <laughs> DeMarcus Cousins, they're out here partying uh, in the strip clubs and it's just, it's bad on them because ESPN just reported that there were a group of Houston players, including Martin, John Wall, DeMarcus Cousins, away from the facility at an apartment getting haircuts. So they know COVID is out here. And James Harden is just straight up trying to get traded. But they're, they're, they're making him play himself out because his value is going down. So And they're reporting these guys on a regular degular. And ESPN also reported that after the NBA declared James Harden unable due to violation of health and safety protocols, it is still unclear to both Harden and the Rockets how long he'll be unavailable or whether he'll face a league punishment. So this is just stirring up a lot of controversy. And as you can see that cryptic post or tweet that Boogie tweeted, you know, like he mad you know maneuver through the bullshit <laughs> like damn you you signed on for this life bro you signed on and then they get to a point where they want to start telling you what to do and you knew they were going to do that you want to go all hood and street on them but i'll tell you this they're forcing the nba to change a lot of their policies because a lot of these guys are, are taking advantage of it they're getting a lot of money to do this shit I just saw, I don't know if you guys saw that interview <laughs> with Kevin uh, Durant and uh, the TNT broadcast, Kenny and Shaq and Ernie and, and Barkley. He was like, not trying to even do that interview. It was obvious, but they sign on to do these interviews, even if they hate the broadcasters or the interviewer. You, you signed on, you signed a contract to do this. It's part of your job. You don't ha have to like it, love it, but you have to respect it and you have to do it. So, yeah, a lot of them are, uh, are facing backlash from just not following uh, protocols. Harden won out, and they don't want him to leave the way that he's trying to lead, and they're making his trade value go down by doing it. Adam Silver is already talking about having all of the NBA players stand for the national anthem. It's just it's a lot of riffraff uh, due, due to this COVID and Harden is just opening up doors for the next person that don't want to be somewhere to do the same shit. And we know this is all monkey see, monkey do. But I don't know what they would do for the future uh, because they could easily take some of that money away from these NBA players. Uh, the endorsements pay them a lot too, but 
Nike, Adidas, they're going to probably get even more strict about the people they get to endorse their brand because Harden is out here in strip clubs. He got a, a, an endorsement with Adidas, but he's in a strip club. And we never saw Jordan and Kobe do shit like this. You know, so uh, it's not looking good for their future because all they have to do is stop paying them the amount that they're getting because although you got talent, bro, it's always somebody better than you in the NBA. Always. It's only like a handful of people that we haven't seen somebody be better than Jordan being one, you know, but <laughs> we haven't seen another Wilt Chamberlain or Shaq. But if you look around besides um, every great shooter that was a, a better shooter, we had a Reggie Miller, then you had a Ray Allen. Now we got a Steph Curry and the list is going on. Uh, we had an Allen Iverson. Now we got a Kyrie Irving. The list goes on, but they just better be careful. Like this video, leave your comments, and subscribe.